Hello everybody, welcome to Shri Voyage. Today I'm going over with you guys the new pieces by Charlotte Tilbury. I got the Pillow Talk Lip and Cheek Glow. As always, I go right into the swatches so that you guys can see what they look like and then I go into a mini review and then the tutorial of how I created this look. Make sure you stay to the end so that you can see how the application lays down on the skin. All right, let's go ahead and jump right in. So here we are, we have the two, one is color of dreams and the other is color of passion. So here are the two palettes. We have color of passion and we have color of dreams. Now these are both of course in the beautiful vintage rose gold packaging. It has raspberry leaf extract, vitamin E as well as beeswax. So it's a very creamy emollient base for the cheeks as well as for the lips. So as you can see, Color of Passion is more of that warm rosebud color. So it's meant to be a very natural flush to the skin. And here is Color of Passion. That is it blended in and then just the one swatch. Then we have the Color of Dreams, which is a little bit more of a neutral rose tone, which we have right here. This is it blended in and then the one swatch. I have this one on this cheek just so that you guys know this is color of passion and then on this side I have color of dreams as you can tell it's much lighter on this side this one is definitely has more of a raspberry tone to it so it's a bit deeper deeper and richer where this is a little bit more I'd say day friendly a little bit more softer I had to build this one up a little bit this one went on pretty saturated Okay, so what are my thoughts on these two? Beeswax, vitamin E, and the raspberry leaf extract. And I think it's that emollient base mixed with the perfect amount of pigment that lays onto the skin that leaves it so that it doesn't become too sticky and it doesn't transfer too much color. So you're getting a really nice flush. It is glossy, but it's not super over the top tip for you guys is when you're using this it really does love the fingers i tried it a bit with the my dose of colors um makeup sponge and i didn't like how it was laying down so i just did it with my finger first and then at the end i took the beauty blender and just patted it into the skin and it buffed it out very very nicely really no cons here for me i think the price is perfect i think the packaging of course is lovely i absolutely am thrilled with her bronzer that she came out with as well as these it's a perfect combination of warmth with the that beautiful rose brightness to bring up the complexion. So it's a win-win for me. Go ahead now and show you how I laid the product down on the skin. So make sure you stay towards the end and don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button and leave me a comment down below. I greatly appreciate it. And here we go for this look.
Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and leave me a comment down below. See you in the next video.